In the United States alone, nearly a thousand teenagers try to take their life each day. It's catastrophic, and that's why we use the word epidemic to describe what's happening with suicide in young people. I've spent over 30 years talking to young people about suicide, and I've heard literally hundreds of stories of kids who've died, and every single time, it grips me emotionally. Because as a teenager, I formulated a plan to take my own life. I followed the trend everybody was doing, getting high, doing drugs. In my case, I developed bleeding ulcers. So the family doctor prescribed me Valium and sleeping pills. And 10 weeks later in a drug-induced depression, I decided one day to kill myself. It was like uh, mental hysteria. I was like out of control. The impulse was so strong to die that day. But I think I didn't want to die. I wanted someone to help me and help me quick. And that's why I made the call. Jerry called his father, who raced home from work to intervene and help save his life, and set him on a journey that would turn suicide education into a life focus. Suicide rates have been going up overall. 8% of high school students said that they had made a suicide attempt in the past 12 months. Uh, almost 16% of high school students say that they had seriously considered suicide in the past 12 months. All of those numbers in regards to the questions about suicidal thought, suicidal behavior went up. Did that have to do with changes in prescription practices or treatment practices of clinicians? Or was there something else that was changing in the environment or in the society that put those adolescents at risk? The actual documentary gives you so much. In fact, that was Alex Crosby from the Centers for Disease Control. In a few days, you're going to hear Stan Kucher from Dalhousie University, who's saying that across Canada, there is a mental health crisis among youth, unidentified. And you say, Jerry, you mean you were going to kill yourself? I was. And I guess this is a personal issue with me. It reminds me that every one of us, when we receive Jesus Christ, we are called by Christ to care for those who don't know the Lord. It reminds me of Romans 9, 1 to 3, where Paul said, I say the truth in Christ, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great sorrow and continual grief in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were accursed. Let me just stop there. Accursed from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh. Do you know the word accursed that Paul used? is the strongest word of eternal damnation in the New Testament. It's literally anathema. We, re we really don't have a word for it. And Paul said, after Christ came into his life, looking at people around him that were lost, he said that he, could, he would, would be willing, if Jesus were to come from heaven and say, Paul, do you love me? Yes, I love you. How much do you love me? Well, Lord, you know I love you with all my heart. I've taken beatings. We feel like he lost his family. He was decapitated later in Rome. But prior to all of that, he says, I'm telling you the truth. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not over-spiritualizing. I would be willing to go to an eternal hell forever if someone could go to heaven in my place. Now, if we're going to be lifeguards on duty, we're going to have to see several things during these days. First, we've got to be convicted of a need. And there is such a need. Do you know that every 20 minutes, someone is now committing suicide? It's the number two killer of Canadian youth, the number three killer of American youth. And guess what? Government can't get the job done alone. The church can't get the job alone. And those that have these unique media tools that God has given Crossroads, we can reach out to millions of people and when I think about a, a movie that we see on Friday night spending $50 million for 90 minutes that often we forget a day later, I look at the distinction of the media that Crossroads is now creating to address the issues and make a difference. Convicted of a need, what did Jesus say? 
He told us in Matthew 28, 19, go ye therefore and te preach the gospel to all the nation. Mark 1, 17, come after me and I'll make you to become fishers of men. Mark 16, 15, go and do all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. In Luke 5, 10, from henceforth you shall catch men. In Luke 14, 21, go out in the streets and lanes of the city. In Luke 14, 23, go out in the highways and hedges. And that's why Acts says in chapter one, verse eight, you're gonna be witnesses unto me. I'm gonna ask you to get convicted of the need. And then secondly, can I challenge you? What about compassion? It is easy for me to be in the ark of safety and forget how desperate I was. But I'm talking about your grandson or your granddaughter. I'm talking about that kid that lives in the neighborhood where you live. And if you put uh, one of these tools in their hands, it could change their life. Now, you know, a number of years ago, you like me, I had read Oscar Schindler's biography, but then I sat for two hours and I watched Schindler's List. And I saw the, the unique adaptation of Oscar Schindler. Here was a Nazi who decided as an entrepreneurial businessman that he would save lives. And he had a total change of mind when he inherited a little Jewish CPA that said, look at them, Oscar. They're on their way on the trains to Auschwitz, to the death camp. Above the entrance of the camp was work shall make you free. It was a lie. They're dying. And so what did Oscar Schindler do? He started buying Jews from, Nazi, from the Nazis. And the great Schindler's list is 1,200 people that were rescued. Now we're going to ask you to rescue men and women. We're gonna ask you to rescue children. And you can do that by calling and saying, you know what, I wanna be a part of Crossroads team. I wanna be that lifeguard on duty. And when you send your best gift, we're going to send you not only the DVD, but in a few minutes, I wanna tell you about an entire bundle that could be available for your school or for the schools in your community, for your church youth group, and no better tool for your family.